10 important ECG rules that you cannot forget. Hey guys, this is Dave from Medic Test Secrets, helping you dominate your paramedic and EMT and REMT exams. And in this video, we're gonna cover some really important points when you're looking at and interpreting ECGs. So these points come from Chamberlain's 10 rules of a normal ECG. Rule number one, right? The PR interval should be less than 0.12 to 0.20 seconds. As you can see in the image below, the PR interval is from the beginning of the P wave to the beginning of the R wave. Rule number two, the width of the QRS complex should not be any longer than 0.11 seconds or three small squares. Rule number three, the QRS should be dominantly upright, which means more above the isoelectric line in leads one and leads two. Rule number four, the QRS and the T waves tend to have the same direction in all of the limb leads. So you can see in the image below, the limb leads are lead one, lead two, lead three, lead AVR, lead AVL, and lead AVF. So the QRS and the T wave should all either be upright or all either deflect below the isoelectric line. Rule number five, all waves are negative in AVR. So you can see where AVR's placement is right there. And if you look at the image next to it, you can see that the P wave, the Q wave, the S wave, and the T wave are all negative, which is below the isoelectric line. Rule number six, the R wave must grow from V1 to at least V4 and the S wave must grow from V1 to at least V3 and then disappear in V6. So if you look at that image below, we can see the R wave is progressively getting bigger from V1 until V4 and the S wave, which is deflected downward, is progressively getting bigger and then smaller until it disappears in V6. Rule number seven, the ST segment should start at the isoelectric line, except in leads V1 and V2, where it may be elevated. So you can see lead V1 and V2 in the image below. So for ST elevation in those leads, we're looking for age less than 40 would be greater than 2.5 millimeters. Age greater than 40 would be greater than two millimeters. And for women of all ages, greater than 1.5 millimeters. Rule number eight, the P wave should be upright in leads one, two, and V2 through V6. Rule number nine, there should be no Q waves or only a small Q wave with a width of 0.04 seconds or less in leads one, two, V2 through V6. And finally, rule number 10, all the T waves must be upright in leads one, two, and V2 through V6. So again, looking at rule eight, nine, and 10, we want all the P waves in leads one, two, V2 through V6 to be, we want the P waves to be upright. We don't wanna see a Q wave or a very small Q wave and we want all our T waves to be upright. So they are the 10 important ECG rules that you can't forget. And if you found this video valuable and you're looking for more help preparing for your paramedic exam, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you're struggling with so I can try to make more videos to help you dominate your NREMT exam.